Okay, we're back again and it's official. Albert signed over the paperwork so there's no backing out of it now. We've got the haunted dollar house. Now what we're going to do in here is this is covered in wallpaper and it doesn't look very good. So we're going to take all the wallpaper off, all of this, and it's going to be some work. It was painted over, but we're just going to paint the walls then. In this room, that nasty carpet's coming up. It's got to go. We need to try to find some sort of insert for in this fireplace. Someone took out the old one, probably sold it for scrap metal. I don't know what we're going to do with the china cupboard. I'd like to keep that myself. <laughs> Yeah, this room is going to need repainting. Uh, pretty much the whole house is going to need repainting. Don't want to do too much of the trim, though. I like a natural wood finish in a house. In fact, I'd really love to strip down this old, old molding and uh, stain it. Don't know how easy that would be and this oh all oh, this color there's not one word that I could say about it that wouldn't get me censored on YouTube <laughs> but this is painted over paneling which looks pretty crappy so uh, we're talking about taking the paneling down and drywalling the whole bedroom. We especially need two over here because there is a water leak and some of that's coming off pretty bad. There's no water leak now, I don't believe. They replaced the roof not but a couple years ago. But it did a little bit of water damage. This is just barely on here. It definitely needs drywall put up. And since there's no bedroom in here, I told Albert I'd like to make a doorway right in there into Hang with me. Into this closet. Divide the closet in half. And leave a doorway here. Put a door up of course. But uh, then have like a small. I don't know. Linen closet. Or you could put anything in here. And then in this part. The doorway would come in here. From the bedroom. But you could have a nice area for putting up clothes. But if we decide to split it into two apartments, which we have thought about, we could possibly put a kitchen in here. It wouldn't make a bad kitchen. And still put a doorway in the wall though, so you can have like a pantry or something. And use this mostly for a pantry. In this room, oh, it's got like a pan a paneling up too. I don't know if we're going to take that off or not. Definitely the collar's got to go. An off-white or something, an antique white. 
And the windows need cleaned up good. Oh. Closet's not too bad. This ugly desk has got to go. I don't know if the TV works. Might keep those bookcases. They're not in bad shape. We're going to take this bed apart. Make it into an arbor for outside. I think it'd be perfect. I would have done it sooner, but we don't have an Allen wrench that we can find. Because it takes those funky little screws. Oh, it's not going to focus in on it. But yeah, we might redo the walls in here with drywall too, I'm not sure. Okay. And that needs major drywall work down there by the door. Okay. Headed downstairs. If we did divide this off, we'd probably take the railing out, make this flush with the rest of the floor, so you can walk across it and then have this as a little entryway room where you could have your coats on hooks and stuff. But now downstairs. Okay, downstairs now. If we divided this in two we put a doorway up here and make that into storage space going up through there. Maybe even hang a rod across the front here to put your coats. But regardless, we're going to have to do drywall work down there because someone apparently broke in the door at one time or another and really messed it up. More drywall work. Definitely a paint job. They did a pretty crappy paint job in here. Oh. Let me head in here. Need to get a door for up here. I don't know how much we're gonna mess with that, though. Bathroom. Bathroom needs a mirror. Take off all that. Oh, that really poor put up wallpaper. Paint some of it. We're gonna open this window back up. Except put maybe like a frosting or something across it so you can't see in very well. Take out this surround. Maybe do tile. But we're going to have to fix it down there where it's bowed out. The walls crumbling in a little bit. We don't know what's going on until we take this out. Um, not really much going on here. He's definitely replacing the toilet. He's not going to clean it out. He's just going to pick it up, put it in a garbage bag, and throw it away. And put the one upstairs in the living room down here. Anyway, this bathroom door needs to be replaced. This closet needs something to be up. There's plenty of doors, though, all through this place. There's a door right now. It's probably there.
here. I don't know. And I don't know what we're going to do with that ceiling. That's an ugly light. But it definitely needs painted. Possibly new countertops. And the cabinets need painting. Stove works fine. So we're going to keep that here, but uh, I'm not sure about the refrigerator. See, it's all rusted out down there. Looks pretty nasty. We might keep the deep freeze. Too. Dalai Lama? Now in this room, if we divide the, the house in half, we were talking about putting a dividing wall up through here, but make it wide so you can fit a closet in from both sides. Have a closet over here on this side of it and maybe down here have another closet on this side. Tear out that room and reopen this doorway here which goes into the dining room on the other side. So you could have two not too bad sized bedrooms. Another thing is we need more windows, new windows. These let a lot of cold air in. All of them need replaced. That desk there, I don't know if we're going to keep it or not. Leave it in the house. Maybe if it was painted or something, it might not be too bad. That desk, its fate is up in the air. I don't know. And that headboard's usable, I suppose. Definitely going to have to prime this room, though, before we paint it. It's going to be hard getting that marker off of that wall. But that doorway should come about here in this room. Let me back up a little bit so you can appreciate it a little bit. But I figure there's still room for a table or so in here. Maybe over here. No, we got big ideas and big plans for this place. And who knows? I'd love to do something special with this wall. Give it a different color or a darker color of whatever paint we're using. We're going for like an antique white, off-white. So maybe paint that a darker color. And this needs a new light switch. Something's wrong, it's not turning on like it's supposed to. But, uh, let's see, need a new door here. Yeah, and the only problem I can see with it having a leak, with the leak, is right in here, with this. Because this here is brick. 
And up there, the siding has blowed off and it pieces. It could have been with the last windstorm or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And we noticed the shillelagh. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, a lot of painting. Oh, I was going to tell you, too. This door here, the glass got busted out. So we're going to try to replace it. Have it replaced. It'd be a lot cheaper than buying a new door. But that'll give you all some ideas about what we'll be doing. And I'll film as we go along. This is Terry signing off. <laughs>